Okay guys, and welcome back to Fallout 4 walkthrough. Now, in this part, we're going to be traveling around freaking Diamond City. Now we're going to first start up over here to the right side of everything, where we're going to find some drama. But first, let's head into this little building first, since I think I'm going to uh, have that as the first thing we go into. It's a stupid church, okay? <laughs> that, was, that was a twist of call it turn voice. Good to see someone new in the chapel. Diamond City treating you all right? This your chapel here, Pastor? Well, that depends. I suppose I should say this chapel really belongs to God. But since I never get around to deciding which God in particular, I guess you could say it belongs to all of them. Now, if you ever need a quiet place to sit down and ponder the Almighty in whatever form strikes your fancy, we're always open. Thanks, Pastor. Feel free to make yourself at home. Yes. Mm, nothing. Not sure which God I'm supposed to be praying to. Pastor says it doesn't matter. First time? Just try and keep it down. Let me tell him what to do. I'm still all your shit in here. Always open if you need us. Yeah, usually churches are wild and big, not this small though. Or chapel, whatever he called it. Okay, now it's time to head up to the left here. First, we're gonna meet the mayor's office. Like how this is just like, hey, hey, look over here. Go here, we're gonna find a bitchy woman up here. This is a very cool way to go up to the mayor's office. Makes you look out there to everything while you're going up. It does look really cool. Here's the woman you heard. There's a no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. What was that about synths? Oh no, I'm not saying anything. I like my job, thank you very much. I'm looking for work. Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check the wanted posters in the market. Let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. I'll pass. Too rich for your blood? Can't blame you. So no funny needle? business around the mayor. Got it? Well, this is his office. I don't see him. But we could steal all his advance. Oh, you won't like that, won't you, Cosworth? You don't like it when I steal, I think. Let's look around. Oh, whose room is this? A lot of telephones. Just can't steal nothing. I want that in my room. Yeah, oh. I might come back here with McCready and we just steal some stuff. That does look like it wasn't had a hose in extra room though. Okay, that's it out of his office. Need something, honey? Housing permit? At least she's nice to me right now. She can be an uber bitch when you want to ask a question. Oh, you 
can see the see some of the chairs up there. Oh, there they are. Seem to be gone. All right. So why he deported here? Certainly, sir. Anything for an understand the rest. This is what I like about you, Wellingham. You know what you are. Not trying to be anything other than helpful. Not like those people down there. Lower field workers always want what they haven't earned. Oh, an astute observation, sir. Let me just freshen your glass again. Thank you, Wellingham. <laughs> you won't like him, Cosworth. He's an asshole. <laughs> Don't talk to him. Okay, we know where this is going to be going. Teeth, let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. Can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, goddammit! You better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch! Don't hurt him, Henry! Uh, damn it! Uh. Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy, taking care of our son. Dang, that loud blue for just a fight. Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? You come here often? As often as I can. Henry is so good at listening to my troubles. Troubles? What would you know about that? Now, can I get you something to drink? Not right now. All right, then. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I, bet, I bet all y'all guys saw that fight. Yeah, you're probably like, oh, let's just let, leave it to them. I want no drink. I'm not buying her legs ass nothing. Hello there, old chap. Good to see another of General Atomic's finest still shooters. Don't be daft. You know I can't use the stuff. A pity. Here's Jesus' program. It's too severe to allow for normal conversation. What are you doing, Cosworth? <laughs> okay, now let's see. Let's head behind this. Common residence. Then we have stairs. A lot of people's houses are up here. Okay, we're done up here. Cosworth's like, hey, let's go down. That's a great idea, right? Yeah, next is Piper's place. Piper. The little girl's room's right there. I'm glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. 
I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? My baby, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <laughs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? The Institute? Who are they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? You can only take it one day at a time. Just. Keep going. That's all anyone can do. We're all just doing what we have to, huh? I think my readers can relate to that. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. There we go, now we have our unlock for our companion. No! Okay, next on let's see. I think we're gonna keep... Uh oh. Don't move, Synth. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a Synth. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Synth! He'll kill us all! <gasps> Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no Synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. And that's where you get your hair done. Security. Like how they're uh, the security's in the dugout. So, Never call your mother a simp unless she really is one. Yikes. What you do, beat your ass? Well, 
I can't steal in here. I don't want to cough horse lose any of his points with me, so I'm not gonna do it. Probably do it Go when I get. I'm in it, in it. What's in here? Yes, it does listen to the radio. This is cool. You have your own bits and everything. Word is something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Been abandoned forever. And the scary place you gotta face that um death claw by yourself. Hey, sir. Showers. That's off my tits. That guy looked really cool though. It's kind of big than I thought it was gonna be. I only got here for that one mission. Um, uh, the big dig, I think it was called. Didn't look around much. No Nick Valentine's here. Then we got upstairs. I think this is where we find um Yeah, there's his house. And this I think that's the house she was talking about. No, it was a different house, I think. Oh yeah, the school. Can't believe I just passed that up. Schoolhouse. What's the place next to it? That's somebody else's residence. Here's the school. I think I got up one of those um, bug glands, but I don't know. Time for a pop quiz, everyone. Ah, <gasps> Mr. Zwicky, we had a pop quiz yesterday. And we've learned a lot since then, so we're going to reinforce Ain't that. Ain't you a little old to be in school? Quiz. But I'm tired. I'm detecting a high degree of fatigue in all our little scholars. Perhaps the quiz can wait. All right, you guys win. We'll do the quiz later. Yes! Hell yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Cosmo got a bit of things. Nothing to see here. I wonder why you're here with a school full of kids. Do all you outside of wear such funny clothes? Do you know that radiation is why Brahmin have two heads? It's true. She didn't talk. Ah, a new scholar come to join us. Let's test your math skills. What is 12 times 15? Twelve times fifteen. <laughs> one sixty-five. No, no, no. It is one eighty. I see your parents are not practicing your multiplication tables with you. Family. It is important, yes? This thing called love, I hear the children talk about. I think they need that to learn. A child needs all the love you can give them. Oh, please do not get upset. Why is it when I talk about these things there are always tears? I have one more question before you leave. It's not another quiz. I just... I don't get to talk to many adults. This love I hear about... Do you think you can have it for someone, even if the two of you are very, very different? If you love someone, hold on to them. Tomorrow you might not have the chance. I... thank you. You have helped me make up my mind about something. Sorry, you're in the wrong place. This is a school, not a store. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. It's fine, we just get a lot of people from the market barreling through here by accident, and it's hard to keep the children's attention. This is a public building, though, so feel free to look around. Sometimes you go on a field trip to the Science Center. Those are my favorite. So we head up here. Gonna be at that bus that's up on top. I think that was where I was smart how they put the bus. The bus up here. 
Ah, stop pushing me. Hey. Mom? Hey, Codsworth. Take this. Your thoughts? It's refreshing to see a bit of military order within the Commonwealth. Let's just hope their intentions are in the right place. How do you feel about our relationship? I'm afraid that's a bit of an unknown, Mom. You're no longer the woman I knew who went into that vault 200 years ago. That's all. All right, then. Sucks you still don't trust me really yet. God damn it. Oh, oh, so you can shut up. Somebody was having a daytime here. Hey, go back down, Coswell. Go back down. Get in there. Get out. You're in the way, buddy. You're in the way. You're in the way. Who's gonna jump down? Oh, this is where they. Yeah, plant your stuff. He's waiting for people to come over here, ain't he? Yep, here they are. It's my spot now. My spot now. Everybody, everybody, I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other. The faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. <laughs> He's so full of shit. Yeah, that's what he said. Don't touch the paint. <gasps> Don't worry, I won't. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? What do you need done? You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. Right. I like their forms. They, like they stick it. They say, "Hey, that's not crowded around. You yeah, guys can sleep here for the night. I don't care if it's raining." That's why I would put the beds. Yeah, I wouldn't been like this guy. I'd put the beds right here. Boston. See, this is this is really cool. Shopping right here. 
whoever had the ball on the opposing team's back tried to throw it in his head to knock him out. Don't so walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection Institute for has sale. To have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Now, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? It's one of them You're full of it, and that kind of talk is going to get you smashed up by the sense. Thank you very much. We buy and sell everything to everyone except sense. No sense allowed here. She would say that. Okay, I know there's the water boy over here. I got a radio dude who lives here. Yeah, after you do his quest, man, he becomes more conf confident than on the radio. Travis. Hey. I mean, I mean, I mean. Hi. Again. Uh. Hi. Hi. Little wimp. See you whip him into shape. That is. Here is somebody else's house. Oh, here are some beds over here. There's a little boy. Shane, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? Don't make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that comes out of that filter is 100% pure. Why is a legitimate businessman like myself always got to be hassled by city regulation, huh? It's a health hazard, Shane. It's a profit hazard is what I say. I manage the water. And I'll do it without your interference. Thank you very much. Don't be a moron. What? Stop you got a staring problem? No, we're gonna help him clean out the water. Hey there, pure fed water. You won't find this out in the Commonwealth. Anything I can do to help out? Ah, the industrious type. Wanna help me clean out the water supply? You won't believe the junk people throw in there. Overloads the filters. I'm on it. Just don't drown. I'll never clean your carcass out of there. Okay, time for some rad resistance. Oops. Okay, first we're gonna start from way over here. Because then sometimes I will get confused to where's everything at. Yes or no, buddy? Kind of hard to find the scholars around here. Here, five, one. Don't let it the <gasps> now I know some red or blue box oh, box thingy in my jig. Get that right away going. Look how go, kid. the water is now. Good job. Here's your pay. Now, how about you pick up some bottles for the road? Shang, why was there a skull in the water? Eh, so maybe you weren't the first person I asked. Maybe the last guy found an unstable hand grenade. Hey. Once the filters do their job, it's all water under the bridge. Am I right? Anyway, uh, need some water? 
Are you by yourself out here? That's right. But on my own since I was eight. I'm a fully independent man. Got my own place. Go to night classes. The whole shebang. Now, how about I get you a bottle of water, huh? Not right now. You're lost, jackass. <laughs> Called you a jackass if you... <laughs> Well, you gave me some free ones in the uh, anyway, kid. Look how this, this truck is. Of course it did. about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh no, we've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, grown synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even? Aha, uh -ha. you do want to talk about it. Uh, oh look, we have a visitor, Dr. Duff Deer. If you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Sure. Sounds fun. Yes. Love that enthusiasm. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but... Which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Gamma rays? That's right. Now, gamma rays are bad. Really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? Yes, very interesting. That's what science is all about. Nothing stays the same. Everything reacts. Now it's time for the field trip portion of today's lesson. Are you ready? Sure. Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloat fly gland. You see, the oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? Get the bloat fly gland. Got it. Remember, bring the gland back in one piece. Oh, and don't chew on it. One of the students got horribly sick because of that mistake. Dr. Duff. Dissecting a bloat fly can be fun. Just avoid getting stung to death, and you'll be a junior scientist in no time. Hmm, so I already had one. Let's see what our upstairs looks like. I don't wonder, they both share a single little bit. Nothing to see here. Look how your house looks. Looks kind of fancy with those fancy ass freaking chairs and stuff. Can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout in, and that's the booze. Man's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Screw you, buddy. Eat some other food if I want to. Crossing river. 
wearing nothing but a smile. When you the there. Comes, we the need to have a conversation. You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Okie dokie. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> No, no, I kid, I kid. <coughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. I'll take a look, sure. Don't order just one now. Leave it up. Oh, they got Nuka Cola. Need to buy one for that one guy. Oh, corn. And that's it. What's with you fog dwellers in those jumpsuits, huh? Never been up in the stands? Honey, I was expecting Let's just more say, of sports bars. I say, my good man, what's the house special? Oh, dug out here. Only the best moon shine in the Commonwealth. You read the Four paper? Bros best, I Damn sense. Robert should try. Don't bother. See if he's strong enough to power the engine. Yes? Heard nothing. <laughs> While an alternate fuel source would be Still a better use to Diamond City security being unhelpful. unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. Only guarantee repairs and replacements when using the designated Mr. Handy fuel. Perhaps you miss out on once in a lifetime opportunity. Vadim can give you warranty as well. I don't doubt that one bit. Let's just say. Should the need arise, I shall surely seek out your services and leave it at that. <laughs> like the normal conversation thing gets. Stop by the mega surgery sometime. I think the last places are mostly the see, like the meat stand. The doctor guy's off it. No, it's not that. Oh, that's the chapel. No, the doctor guy's office is right here. Then they go to noodle stand. I think that's the guy with the deals the drugs. Yep, he does the drugs. Shopping at night? Diamond City Surplus is always open. Should have done them first, cause they they gone in the clothing stores down that way. Hey, you there? I am. Um, I have a question for you. Go ahead. I'm listening. You were in the tap house before, when you tried to punch out the bartender. <laughs> what was that all about? I thought it was dead obvious. Cook is sleeping with my wife. And I'm supposed to just pretend I don't know. Until Cook decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. Sounds like a tough situation. You don't know the half of it. But I'm not going to just sit here and let Cook steal my wife and destroy my family. I'm going to go back and talk to him and I want you to come with me. You saw? He won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him. I just want him to leave Darcy alone. Okay. I'll help you. Okay. Good. Good. I'm sure Cook will back down once he sees you're with me. If you're just going to talk to him, why do you need me along? I don't want to hurt Cook, but if he doesn't listen to me, I don't know what I might do. 
He won't dare act so smug when he sees you with my back, and then nobody has to get hurt. Yeah, but you're gonna do a stupid thing and point a gun at him. Dumbass. How? Oh. Will you help me talk to Cook? Get him to leave my wife alone. Okay. I'll help you. Okay. Good. Good. I'm sure Cook will back down once he sees you're with me. Let's go. You do the talking, I'll be the intimidating presence. All right. Come on. All right, guys. I'm going to stop here. Next time we might help him out. Yeah, we can help him out. So we can at least um get some XP and stuff going. And the money. I was wondering, should I take the drugs when we get there? Or we, should I take the money? I mean, I could have done it without him. I could have done it by myself. Because then, because he gets half the shit. And I probably said, yeah, I'll take the freaking drugs. I can sell that shit. Or can I just get the money? Well, I get to steal the money off the dude anyway. Okay, guys. I'll see you guys next time. It'll probably be daytime when we come back. Because I want to do this in day. Plus, I need to do some shopping. So, after I do some shopping, I will return here. I will see you guys now, next swan. time.